hello. Okay, I'm gonna get my camera angle right here. We are going to do some comparisons of two colors um, coming in the winter collection. But first I need to uh, get my polish off that I'm wearing on my nails. Hello, hi. Okay, I am wearing Glamour on this hand, which we're gonna look at tonight. Very excited. We have the greens and the blues today, um, which I can't wait. Hello. If you, I mean, I know some of you have already seen the colors on the site. So if you have um, questions or um, specific comparisons you want to request, let me know. Happy, hi Katie, hi Katie, how's it going? Uh, let me know, happy to pull those out. I kind of set up what I plan to do here, but happy to make an adjustment. Um, I'm gonna take off Glamour. This is one of those nice, like, very deep teals. And I was just um, putting my son to sleep, hey KP. Uh, and we read books, you know, with his flashlight. And I was looking at my nails and I was thinking, I think that this shimmer might be more um, apparent <laughs> in like low flashlight lighting. Um, so I will definitely be sharing. I definitely enjoyed that. Um, but I'm gonna take it off. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Amy. Next to Cerulean. Okay, yeah, I don't, I didn't grab my Cerulean because it's, um, uh, retired, but I can definitely pull it out and show it to you when we get there. Thank you for reminding me of that. Thanks so much, Katie. I'm glad you like the colors. The greens and the blues just make me so happy. Like, I could just look at these colors all day, right? Um, okay, and I often get these questions about these, like, kind of blues that are maybe, like, a little bit green. Um, and I just took it off. I don't get any staining from this one. Um, I don't get any staining from any of these here that we're gonna look at tonight. Yeah, the greens and the blues, man. They're just so good. <laughs> They're just so good. Um, I love them. And here's something, here's some little retired eye candy for you. Um, we'll look at these much closer in a second when I'm done taking off my nails, but here are Cactus Flower and Bengal Spice, um, which have the same shimmer as Glamour, the new color. It's just so good. I love, obviously, if you haven't noticed this yet, um, I love bringing, you know, like taking the same elements and putting them in a new base. I think it's really fun. Sometimes it totally flops um, and it doesn't work at all. <laughs> and sometimes it works really well. So um, it's really fun when it works really well. On this hand, I'm wearing another color that is coming in this collection, but I'm going to take this one off and you can get more, more peaks later. Cactus flower is a gem. Peggy, you have eagle eyes. Yes, I'm wearing night court on this hand, which is another color um, coming in this collection. Kelsey says cactus flower is a gem and I just like couldn't agree more. I love it. Cactus flower, it's so good. And I feel like these two are like cousins, you know, they're like a dusty purple and a dusty blue. Um, they're great, I love them. All right, almost done taking my nail polish off. I planned to do this before we started and then um, honestly I got distracted responding to Instagram comments. So thanks for your patience. But then we're gonna dig in and um, get started. I am going to paint, once we're all done, I'm gonna paint this one, which is Willow. So these are the two new colors coming in this collection. Um, this one is Glamour. This one is already up on my feed. I shared a couple different posts about it today. And then tomorrow you'll get to see lots of information about Willow. Um, or if you're watching the replay on YouTube, it's probably already there. And, um, yeah, I love them both so much. And Willow, uh, I wore it last week so that I could grab, you know, my content about it. Um, but I want to put it back on already. I miss it so much. So that's what we're gonna do um okay i just realized that i didn't get my top and my base coat so i'm gonna get those and then we'll be ready to really get started here oh and i'll grab so 
cerulean. Somebody just asked about that. Now I'm back. So let's see, which one do we want to do first? Do you want to do Willow or Glamour first? Which one do you want to see comparisons for? Um, I feel I could go either way. So you tell me. We can do Willow, which is the green. We're going to compare it to greens in my collection. Or we can do glamour which is the blue we're going to compare it to blues in the collection so you let me know which one you want to do first willow willow all right we're going willow um i recently was talking to janine who is um smallish ballish on uh instagram and i told her that if there was a fire in my office i would probably this is the thing that i would take with me as my bottle of willow i mean obviously i have more than one bottle in my office, but I would definitely take one because I just think this is my new, this is my new like go-to iconic Walker color. I'm, I'm just totally obsessed with it. So <laughs> let's, let's do some comparisons. Um, I have here, let's see, we'll go like summer, winter. Um, okay. So I have here, uh, Ambrose, which was in our summer collection this year. I have ironic, which was in our summer collection in 2022 I think mm, yeah I think 2022 and it's lovely and then I have Willow of course and then I have Borealis which is um kind of the other like wintry cooler weather green that I have but it's not really close to any of these um but thought I would share it so let's dive in let's look at these Ambrose is um definitely the one with the most yellow in it here um but it still is kind of that like bluey green uh and so i figured it's helpful to see especially since it's a newer color um i love this one it's definitely bold and in your face um so not what i would consider a, a winter color but i love it okay now we're gonna do ironic I put like, um, you know, lotion on right before this. And so it's going to make opening these bottles a little tricky. <laughs> right here is ironic. <laughs> yes. Kelsey has Atlant Atlant Atlantis. Oh my gosh. Alanis, <laughs> more set, stuck in her head, and I do too. So the first thing you're going to notice is that this one has a lot more white in the base, so it's a bit more um, of an opaque formula. I, I wear all of these in two coats, but this one has more of that like creamy base. You don't really get any streakiness on that first coat, so that's probably the first difference. And then there are some pretty big color differences too once we get them all built up. Here's my Borealis. Again, I think Borealis is going to be the most different here, but it's kind of the other wintry green. So if you're like, yeah, I want to have a nice green in my collection this winter, you can decide which one is more, more your jam. That's one coat of all four of those. I am describing Willow as a muted turquoise, uh, I believe. And I, I chose that because I do think... Um, like I think some of the photos, it's gonna look bright because you're seeing it out of context, right? You're not seeing it like next to other colors and you're seeing it maybe in direct sunlight. Um, but it is this like really lovely kind of dusty turquoise color, I personally think. So let's build them up in two coats so you can see them. I love how bright and punchy Ambrose is. It just like makes me happy to see it on my nails. So that's two coats of Ambrose. Whoop. So 
second coat of Ironic. A Skittle, yeah, right? These four, they work together. Um, and I kind of tried to do them like lightest to darkest kind of. I feel like this works, yeah. I love it. I would put like Bondi blue on my thumb or something. In fact, I thought I had Bondi blue over here. Oh yeah, to show you next to Glamour. Okay, so there is those three. And then I kind of feel like Borealis. I almost don't even need a second coat, but we're gonna do it for consistency sake. All right, so here are four delightful greens. Let's see, you can see all four? Yes, oh my gosh. I would wear this as a Skittle too. I hadn't really um, like thought about how lovely these were gonna look next to each other until this moment, and they're so good. Okay, so we are looking at Ambrose, which is the most yellow of all of these. I call this like a really bright, uh, emerald, I think. And then I think I'm going to stop saying that you can tell it's, I'm a little sleepy today. <laughs> so I'm going to stop saying, I think we'll try that again. This is Ambrose. Ambrose is the most yellow of these four greens, but still kind of lies on that, um, like blue green spectrum. And then ironic is right in between Ambrose and Willow. It's this nice kind of like bright turquoise. So it's still nice and soft. Um, and a little bit muted, but it's not as muted as Willow, which is like nice and grayed out and much more blue. Um, so it has more of a blue undertone. And then Borealis is kind of our rich emerald for the winter. So I just feel like you could pick any of these four and be satisfied because greens are so lovely. Yeah, a good gradient. I'm here for it. I mean, I'm always here for greens. Green has been my favorite color since I was like I don't know, nine years old or something. Um, big fan, big fan. Love it. And so I'm going to take these off. Um, oh my gosh, Denise is joining us all the way from Mexico. Yeah, right. Peggy's right. You could also just choose them all. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad decision. Um, okay, so I'm going to take these off and I'll show you. I don't get any staining. Sometimes I do get a little from Borealis. It really depends. Um, and I didn't put base coat on under these, so it's definitely possible. Yes, willow with hail over the top. Oh man, maybe that's what I need to do tonight, Sammy, is put hail over the top when I'm done. Um, yay! Denise's mom is wearing fairy for her 70th birthday. Isn't that amazing? Good for your mom. Okay, so I, yeah, I just took all four of those off. Um, you know, obviously I only wore them for like 30 seconds, but um, I didn't get any staining. Uh, no problem. This is Ambrose Ironic Willow. This is the new one um, that's coming as part of the winter collection. This is the color reveal for tomorrow. So you'll see, you know, swatches and live swatch and everything of that tomorrow on my feed. And then this is Borealis. So this one's been around for a while. It was retired for a while and then I brought it back, I think last summer, like towards the end of the summer. Absolutely adore it. Absolutely love that one. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Okay. We're gonna move on to my second favorite color in the whole world, blue. Ironic is ironic is a good one. It's still in stock right now. Um, okay, let me show you. All those colors that I just showed were in stock, so I'm gonna to try to be really clear about which ones are, you know, retired and not retired. Um, Cause I know it's like frustrating when you see something that you're excited about and then it's not around anymore. But um, Let's talk about some sparkly blues, shall we? No, Denise, you're fine. <laughs> yes, Denise is still available, but um, you don't need to remember that. You haven't finished that project yet. Um, okay, here are four lovely sparkly blues that we're going to look at, and then I will show you um, just kind of how the base in these two compares to some of my other blue creams. Um, but I want to first show you 
like next to other sparkly colors because I feel like that's, I don't know, it's like the most helpful way to see it, I think. Um, actually, I'm going to change my mind. Let me show you colors first. So this one is Cerulean. Um, this is uh, not currently available. It is retired right now. Um, and this one is Jostler. This one is currently available. I happen to have it in my small bottle. Um, so this is from like the year 2020. <laughs> this was the first, uh, in the first fall collection I ever launched. Um, I still have my small bottles because, you know, I'm not going to throw them away. Um, and then this is Glamour and this is Raindrop. So I hope maybe I'll show you these really quick, like do like the fastest swatch ever, just to show you the color, um, to show you how the base looks. Jostler and Cerulean are creams. They have no shimmer in them, no glitter. Um, but you know, always helpful to see. Yeah. The OG fall blue. Totally agree. I love Jostler so much. Oh, you got it on. Yay. Peggy, is this your first time wearing Jostler? I feel like I just saw a comment from you that I, um, that said you hadn't worn it yet, but maybe I'm confusing that with something else. Okay. And this is Cerulean which is lovely, but much like dustier than these other two. I love this one so much. Yay. Peggy, I'm so glad you got Jostler on. It's such a good color. So rich, right? Okay, and then I'll show you Glamour and I'll show you Raindrop. So Cerulean, this one, the dusty one is retired, um, but Jostler is available currently, so but Cerulean was really popular. And so I know a lot of my customers own a bottle. So this is probably helpful. So that is Glamour. That's one coat. And then this is Raindrop. Raindrop we'll put right here. I think Raindrop is the closest in base, but I'll tell you a little bit more about what I would say the differences are once you can see them next to each other. Um, So that's, yes, um, Glamour is the same uh, shimmer, the same finish, same, blah, the same shimmer, the same finish um, as Cactus Flower and as Bengal Spice, if you have, that's also an OG color back from 2020, if you have that one. But yeah, Cactus Flower, Bengal Spice, and Glamour, these are the same um, shimmer. Okay, so I'm going to do, this is just a quick um show you the colors here um again jostler currently available cream no glitter in it cerulean retired um but i know a lot of you have it so maybe it's helpful to see how it compares definitely lighter and brighter and then glamour is kind of like between <laughs> jostler and cerulean um it's a little more blue than jostler is um, and then raindrop. We'll talk more about that in a second. So here we go. I hope that was helpful. Oh my gosh, Kelsey. Oranges? I feel like oranges get such a bad rap, but they're so good. But you're not the only person who's orange avoidant. I have a lot of people who tell me that. Um, okay, so I am going to, we're going to go back to talking just about sparkly blues that are all currently available, um, because I feel like that's lovely. Um, so we're going to look at Reflection, Bondi Blue, Glamour, Raindrop. Again, Glamour, the new one coming this weekend. The rest of these are available. And Reflection was the sparkly blue in last year's winter collection. Um, oh, I did not do a good job. There we go. Bengal Spice is a good orange. I agree. Sammy ordered Jostler with four of the colors. Oh, perfect. I feel like Jostler is a good blue to add to that collection because there was no blue in that collection. Um, and Jostler is like a perfect... Oh, I just spilled. Can you see that? Oh. Here we go. Try to get it out of the picture. I just spilled blue polish all over the desk. The energy tonight is a little chaotic on my end. I apologize. 
You have Bondi Blue too. Yeah, I love Bondi, Bondi Blue. It's so good. Okay, here's Reflection. The first coat of Reflection. Love it. And then Bondi Blue. Um, there isn't early access to buy. They will be available um, on the website to add to a wish list or like see more details. Like you'll be able to see all the swatches and the live swatch and comparisons and everything. Um, and that should be available Friday. And so, um, yeah, there'll be early access in that sense that you can uh, see it, but I don't have early access to shop. Yeah, but good question. All right, so we're looking at these four. This is one coat of each of these blues. Thank you, Kelsey. <laughs> I appreciate that. KP. All right, All right I'm going to flip this around because I feel like... Can you see where I spilled blue polish all over this paper? I don't think so. With my glare, it's like, I can't even see what's in my phone here. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a second coat. I feel like because these all have some sort of shimmer or glitter in them, you really need that second coat to get a sense of what it's going to look like, you know, in a full manicure because you just get like more of a depth of color and then you get, you know, like the layers and so the glitter comes through different layers. So you really need those more than more than one coat to see what it's really going to look like, in my opinion. So that's two coats of reflection, which is um, from last year's winter collection. I love this one. Like talk about layers of glitter. When you layer this one up, the glitter that I, I call it like a royal blue glitter. That's how I would describe it. And it's in this like really nice navy blue base. Um, and when you, you know, get your two coats on there, it's like you just it just looks like the glitter is like an endless <laughs> pool or something um, on your nails. I really love that one. And then this is Bondi Blue, which was a summer color, but I feel like, you know, can kind of, can kind of work for many seasons and just like fits in this like sparkly blue family here. Love it. And it's kind of in this like, you know, similar color base yeah <laughs> Denise <laughs> glad you were able to fill your your missing holes there all right so this is going to be glamour this is the one that is coming um tomorrow or Sunday sorry and I think I, it's I mean it's really hard to judge this um but I think that you get a little bit more shimmer payoff in this one than in Cactus Flower. I could not tell you why that is, um, but I do think you get a little bit more shimmer payoff in this one than in Cactus Flower. Um, definitely, uh, it's a, you know, like subtly shimmery shade, but I think it's very lovely. Okay, and then we're gonna do the second coat of Raindrop. And Raindrop is, oh, Denise, I just heard your order go through. <laughs> Um, Raindrop is in the, my like cream holographic formula. So it's the same as Icicle. These are the only two that I have in this formula where it's a much less dense glitter. Um, and it's slightly larger and it's in a creamier base, um, than my scattered holographics like Bondi Blue or Emerald or Radiance. Um, they have this like subtle glitter payoff, right? It's different than like a linear or a scattered holographic, um, but I love it. It's like, I think of it like a cream with a little bit of something extra in it. And I just think it's, I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, yeah. Okay. So here are these four. They're getting all, I'll try to make these tops a little less shiny here. There we go. So here are these four uh, sparkly blues. Reflection is much more of like a navy blue and it has that royal blue shimmer. Um, Reflection is not a jelly, but it is um, less of a 
creamy formula so you kind of see those layers of glitter differently than you do in these other colors. Bondi Blue is a scattered holographic so this one has the densest glitter of any of these four um, but it is this really nice teal color so it kind of fits in this palette here. Glamour is this really lovely dusty kind of denim -y blue uh, that has the pink shimmer and then Raindrop, I call Raindrop like a dusty teal um, so it has a bit more green in the base than the like denim blue of Glamour and it has just a smattering of holographic glitter. So those are those four. Let's look at these bases up close. So I think these are definitely the closest. Do I have these right? Yeah. Um, so I would say Raindrop has more of that like teal color in the base. There's a little more green. Um, and Glamour is a little bit more of like a denim -y, dusty blue. Um, but they're certainly close. Uh, but I think then, you know, also the glitter makes them look a little bit different. Okay, I feel like I just talked a mile a minute and we looked at a lot of blues. So I'm going to pause. So if there's anything else you want to see, other comparisons you want to see, let me know. Oh my god, Kelsey, <laughs> I can't handle you. <laughs> KP. Um, yeah, let me know if there are any other comparisons you want to see while I take these four off. I mean, I kind of don't want to. I feel like this is so beautiful too, but I really want to put Willow on. And I think I'm going to do Willow and Hail. Somebody recommended it. Um, but if there's anything else you want to see before I start painting my nails for real, for real, uh, let me know because I'm happy to grab something else. And thank you so much for being here or for watching the replay. If you catch the replay later, either on Instagram or on YouTube, I appreciate you. And I hope that you find these videos helpful to, you know, help make decisions or just like picture how these colors would fit into your collection or maybe discover new colors that you didn't know that you were going to fall in love with. Um, this is the second collection you know I did this for the first time with um the fall collection and I'm really enjoying doing these lives all right so I'm taking those blues off I'm gonna go grab hail so that I can do my willow and hail combo because I'm so excited about it Glad you find them helpful. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Um, okay, I am going to do Willow. This is Hail. Oh yes. Um, Sammy, I can definitely do that. Let me um just get them together for you here real quick. Actually, you know what, Sammy, I haven't, I've only done two colors here, um, and there are two more colors coming in this collection. So let me, I will pop that in my stories. Once I've done all the reveals, I'll pop that in my stories. And um, in case you didn't grab any fall colors, um, I did, you will have, um, or sorry, I will have available on Sunday um, a bundle of the new colors that are coming out in the this winter part of the collection and then I will also have a bundle of the fall colors I mean that's on my website right now um, and then there will also be the option to get a bundle of both sets um, so if you want to get all nine at once you can do that too um, on Sunday during launch day and then of course you can also grab them individually so if you didn't grab fall and you want to just get them all at once you can do that this weekend um, but otherwise these four will be here on their own as well. Okay, I'm just gonna throw some base coat on. Oh, wow, Peggy, I'm surprised. The live sold Peggy on Fairy. I'm surprised that um, you weren't sold on Fairy already, but I get it. I'm glad that it convinced you. Uh, 
I am hoping to squeeze in a pedicure this weekend. It's kind of going to be my like little moment of um, respite. And so I am, yeah, we'll see. I'm crossing, cross your fingers for me. On my toes, I tend to do much more like traditional pedicure colors than I do on my nails. You know, my nails I'll wear like greens and blues and oranges, but um, on my toes, I tend to do like more reds and stuff. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try and get a pedicure. Okay. All right, so I am gonna paint Willow. I just did my base coat. I'm gonna paint Willow. I'm gonna do Hail as a top coat. And then I will, of course, use my quick dry top coat. Ugh, oh, y'all, this color. I'm just obsessed with it. I mean, there's only two creams in this collection and I'm like truly obsessed with both of them. I think they're both so good. Um, but this one is my favorite. Don't tell anybody. All right, here we go. This one, um, if you're not, if it's not obvious, this one is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer reference. And this is, um, Willow is one of the characters. She's one of Buffy's. There's kind of like a trio of them at the beginning, at least, that are like, you know, best friends and work together. And, um, Willow becomes a witch later in the series and... I just absolutely, I think she's great. I mean, I love, I think I've watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer like three times through all the way and then seen random episodes, you know, one off. Uh, so I'm a big Buffy fan. I don't talk about it a ton, but real big Buffy fan. And it's like a running joke between me and one of my closest friends because we both love to read vampire novels, but she doesn't love um, she doesn't love Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I feel like she's missing out. Okay, I missed some comments. Ooh, okay, Nebula, Golden Hour, and Constellation are all great choices, so she's wondering what we should wear for Halloween. I, Nebula is kind of my go-to. Um, I love it. I feel like it's got great witchy vibes, personally. Um, so Nebula is my go-to, personally. But those are all great choices. All great choices. Oh, an angel fan. Other people love Buffy. Yeah, right? Oh, so good. So good. Yes. Okay. So here is Willow. Ginger is a great option too for Halloween. That's a great suggestion. It's a good one. If you like want to be more kind of traditional orange or, you know, wear ginger in the morning and then swap it out for something at nighttime, you can do whatever you want. It's your life. Yeah, it's it's got a good formula. I actually think I might only do one coat since I'm gonna top it with hail anyways. Um, I might just do one coat. That's what I'm considering right now. Ooh, that sounds like a perfect combo. I'm loving hearing your Halloween combos, you guys. This is great. I'm so psyched about these. Dracaris would also be a good Halloween color, yep. I tend to like, I don't know, hold on to colors and say, okay, this is my Thanksgiving color and like nothing will knock it out of its place. So I think, you know, I really love Nebula for Halloween and I've worn it for Halloween now for like three years. Um, and I just feel like it's hard, even though I love Dracaris, it's like really hard for me to think about replacing Nebula as my Halloween nanny. Um, Sumac is always my uh, Thanksgiving nanny. So, yeah. Yes, we love a good one coat cream. I mean, I think, you know, the ones that need two coats, sometimes it's really worth that extra time, um, but I don't hate a one coat cream, especially if you're gonna put a topper on it. It's like nice to be able to save that whole step, which is I think what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so this is one coat of Willow. And if I was gonna just wear Willow, I would absolutely put two coats on because I just always do two coats. I feel like it helps 
last longer. It helps just get like a plumper look. Um, but I'm just going to go in with Hale. And so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do another coat. Hale, uh, if you're unfamiliar, is my scattered holographic topper. So it is inspired by the formula in Raindrop and Icicle. Um, just a little smattering of glitter. I said that just for you, KP. And um, this one, yeah, is designed to kind of go over any of my creams. You're not going to get the exact same look because glitter, you know, it's never going to look exactly the same, like on top versus mixed in, but it's going to give you a similar effect. Um, and so it's inspired by those colors. It has a very similar, like, glitter to base um, distribution. And if you want more glitter, you can always do you know, more than one coat and really pack up the shine. But I love just like a little kiss. Oh, love it. It is the best topper. I totally agree. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll like wear a cream for, you know, three, four days, and then I will top it with hail. Just like right on top of my quick dry top coat, I just go right over the top. And it's like, you kind of have a whole new manicure. Um, and you get a couple extra days of wear time out of it like it just it's really perfect it seals everything in and gives you like a whole new look oh my goodness this was a great suggestion i was sold on willow already that i was gonna wear that tonight but i love it yeah i do think it looks good on everything too i mean basically i released rain drop and was like okay i just want to do this in every color possible like every Pantone color, like all 17,000 of them or whatever there are. Uh, and I said, well, that's impossible. So I decided that Hale needed to be right. And it's not exactly the same glitter distribution as in Raindrop um, because I wanted it to look the same. And we actually had to adjust the percentage slightly, but I think the look is very similar, what you get, um, which I'm very proud of. Oh, so smart. Yeah, Heidi did that with another topper. Constellation over MOTN is a great combination. I love that. And yeah, it's so nice to just like mix it up. But you know, you don't have to sit go through the whole like taking off your polish and waiting for all your coats to dry. It's just like it's a really fast way to kind of freshen up your manicure. Yeah, I love it. I am really loving this combination. Really loving it. I also really love it over the other cream in this collection. Just wait. Just wait. It's so good. I think that's what I'm going to wear on launch day is that combination. Okay, so that is Hail and Willow. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are Hail fans. I'm a big Hail fan. I also feel like Hail is a great name for it, personally. I think it's a good, it's a good name. Okay, so that's Hail over Willow. I just did one coat of Willow underneath and then one coat of Hail on top. Like I said, you can always get this color, you know, do two coats of Hail if you want like more glitter, it'll just build up. Um, but I really like being able to see the color underneath like that. Is, I love creams. I love the color. That's my thing. And so, um, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I'm going to do quick dry top coat. A black version. Oh, you're talking like a black holographic Denise or like black like a solid black glitter what are you what are you picturing there my friend yes I don't know why I'm painting with my fingers in the air like this this is a terrible decision okay here we go maybe flakes oh okay you're thinking just like the like the amount of glitter that's in here like, that's what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Love it. I, yeah, I, um, I love toppers. I think they're really fun. And they usually, they're like medium good. I mean, I know we've talked about this a little bit, Denise, but they don't sell like crazy well for me. Um, but you know, that doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean we won't do them. Yes. Great question, Kelsey. Um, Cuticle Buddies and stickers are going to restock. Um, Cuticle Buddies, if you place an order on launch day with a Cuticle Buddy in it, it might take me a couple extra days to ship it because um, I won't have them in hand on Sunday. 
uh, but I should get them shortly thereafter. Um, the stickers will be ready to ship on Sunday, but you know, launch day orders usually take me a couple days um, to get out because a lot come in just in a really short period of time. Uh, but yes, they both will be restocked uh, this weekend with the launch. And I'm restock I'm not adding any new scents or any new stickers. I'm just restocking the scents and stickers that I have previously stocked. So I feel like that sentence had a lot of S's in it. Yeah, I'm doing a couple um, in-person markets this winter, which was another reason why I'm really excited to be launching this collection in October instead of December. Last year, trying to do like markets. I did a three-day market in December, like the weekend after I launched this uh, my winter collection last year, and I thought I was going to lose my mind. <laughs> so I'm really excited to do this in um, October this year because holiday markets haven't really picked up yet. Um, but I'm doing a holiday event um, in the uh, in December or like end of November, I think, uh, small business Saturday. And, um, the cuticle buddies are always so popular at those events. People are psyched about them, um, because they're so good. I mean, they should like, as they should be. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see you, uh, oh, stocking, stocking stuffers. I love that's a good idea. Hi, look at more lighter colors. Oh, interesting. Um, limestone, I think I usually wear it in two coats. I mean, it depends a lot on, you know, your, um, like the length of your nails. Do you think, are your nails much longer than mine? Um, but yeah, I think uh, some creams will have like a, the first coat will be a little bit streakier. And then once you get that second coat on, it lays down more even, but, um, I think I typically wear limestone in two coats though. Um, but certainly I think I have some that are a little like uh, amaryllis is a pink that I have. Not that you need to know the name of all these colors, but um, that one sometimes I wear it in three coats because it's a little bit more of a crelly, but limestone for me is a cream that I usually wear in two coats. Yes celebrating prioritizing sanity yep i just realized like i'm in control of the timeline you know not a hundred percent but <laughs> i'm pretty much in control of the timeline so why do things that make me feel crazy okay um so that is two coats uh, sorry that's one coat of willow one coat of hail and some quick dry top coat that i just put on and i love it yeah uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you came late or you want to see more, I will post this to my feed here on Instagram, but I also repost these onto, um, I also repost them onto YouTube because I know that some people try to, um, like to watch longer form videos on YouTube as well. So, oh, interesting over gel. Yeah, I have never tried that, so <laughs> I don't have any tips for that. Um, but I wonder, like, do you put a base coat on on the gel? Because I'm just wondering if it's, like, so smooth. I wonder how that goes. But I know lots of people do it. So, um, yes, let us know if you learn anything um, about how to make that work. And, yes, thank you so much for joining, everybody. Um, oh, Garnet is a great choice. Man, y'all are wearing great polishes. And I can't wait. I'm going to do another one of these on Friday afternoon um, with the other two colors in this collection. So, yay! Okay, thanks everybody. It was so nice to chat with you. And if you have any other questions or want any other comparisons, you can DM me or leave them in the comments on this live. Bye y'all.